I did not think I was going to have to make, but I do. Right now I'm driving in the flat nasty and I'm not going to do all my talking right now because I'm going down the road and there's a lot of turbo whistle in this cab, which I like, but uh, I want you guys to actually be able to hear me out in a good solid steady video when I go through everything that I'm about to go through with you guys on why I still have this truck, even though it is getting picked up tomorrow, why I still have it after all this time, and why you haven't really seen it on Instagram, on YouTube, where it's been, why you guys haven't seen it. So, you know, we're going to keep on going down the road here, and then when I get back to the house, I'm going to go over why we still have this truck and what all we ended up doing to it before the winter comes to get tomorrow. So let's get down to the discussion of today. You guys saw me driving flat nasty back to my house. We got it back here. And we got a couple of things that we got to go over as to why this truck has been out of the spotlight for so long even though the giveaway is over and there's been a winter and the winter hasn't been able to pick up the truck yet. So when we got this truck, I was told transmission has been fully rebuilt with some upgrades like, you know, a heavier duty torque converter and stuff like that. That way it can handle some power and it does better job at towing, stuff like that. I drove the truck very minimally the whole time that I had it. I probably put a total of 200 miles on it. I mean, I really didn't drive it much. You know, because we had Nasty Red, we have my grandpa's truck, I mean, we've got Rosine, we've got a lot of other stuff to drive, so I didn't drive this specific truck very much during the time that we had it. Not to mention half the time that we did have it, it was getting custom seats done, it was getting airbags put on the rear, it was getting new shocks put on, you know, it was getting stuff done to it, so since it was in the process of getting work done, it just wasn't one that I would hop in and drive a bunch. So I started to drive it a little bit more towards the end of the giveaway, and I'm like, you know what, I should probably drive this truck a little bit more than I have because this is gonna be somebody else's truck and I wanna make sure that it drives just as good as it did the first time I drove it when I picked it up. Keep in mind, I only drove it about five miles and I hardly got up to 45, 50 miles per hour on back roads and then I just took the truck, loaded up and bought it. Fast forward through the entire giveaway down to the end of the giveaway, I was driving the truck and I got up to highway speeds here on a highway nearby and I was getting it up to about 60 miles per hour and it shifted into overdrive and then it was very sensitive to the overdrive. When it would shift into overdrive, it would shift out of overdrive every couple minutes, it would shift in then it shift out, it shift in, and it shift out. Or the torque converter was locking up and unlocking, locking up and unlocking. And I was like, that doesn't seem right, but I never really questioned the transmission because of what I was told. And I usually try to believe people as much as I know people are gonna say, well, you shouldn't always believe people. Well, I like to give people the benefit of the doubt that they're not all a bunch of liars. And maybe this guy wasn't a liar and he just had a buddy or a friend or a shop, you know, rebuild the transmission and do a few upgrades. And they told him it's good to go and they were dishonest to him. And maybe he never drove it much because he said it was a project and it was covered in dirt and dust when I got it. Like it had literally, he said it had been sitting for, you know, well over a month without being driven at that point. And he said he just lost interest in the project whatever that's the story he gave me maybe he just gave me that story said if there was anything wrong with it he could honestly say well I haven't driven it in a while but who knows let's just assume that he didn't lie to me but I'm gonna go with the theory that maybe he knew something that I didn't or that was not disclosed to me so long story short I called maximum overdrive transmission in Red Key Indiana and I talked to him I said hey I've got this truck I said I was told that it had this this and this done to it in terms of the transmission but I said when I get it up to highway speeds it will come in and out of overdrive or the torque converter is locking up and unlocking. It's very periodic and it kind of concerns me. So I said, I need to get this thing down to you guys ASAP before somebody gets this thing and make sure that it's looked into. So I loaded up flat nasty onto the trailer behind Nasty Red, hauled it all the way down to maximum overdrive transmission in Red Key, Indiana. They built Nasty Red's transmission. They built the Silver Bullet transmission that we did way back, which was a high horsepower, second gen swapped, third gen. I mean, anytime we need transmission work done, these guys are the ones to do it and they do a really Really, really good job. Um, now, of course, if you beat the living crap out of your truck and you neglect maintenance, you can still break even a high quality vehicle or a high quality build. That's just kind of how it goes. Never had any problems with any of the work from my experience. Took it down there and he looked into it. He said, I think it might be a TPS sensor, but I'm gonna have to change it and then keep driving the truck around the block, you know, take it on a few miles and see if that actually changes anything before I dig into it. Cause I don't want to get to pulling transmissions and everything else unless I need to. So he replaces the TPS sensor and then he's like, it's still acting up. 
replaces some solenoid of some sort that has to do with transmission that could affect shifting, still doing the same thing. He tears into the transmission, he said, this is a completely stock rebuilt transmission. He said it's rebuilt, but it's just on stock and your torque converter is just not acting good because it's a single disc torque converter. I believe is what he told me. And he said that the truck feels like it's making like 400-ish horsepower, give or take 800 to 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. This torque converter does not like the power that this thing's putting out. And I was like, yeah. I said, well, I said, what do you suggest? He said, this thing needs to have to be able to pull a trailer and everything else. He said it needs a triple disc torque converter. It needed a different oil or some fluid pump inside the transmission he said was actually not what it was supposed to be it was a gas truck pump in the transmission that's supposed to cycle the fluid through the system and he's like that could also be causing the torque converter burn up because it's because there's not enough fluid moving through the transmission also he's like and it looks like your power steering pump has a small leak and your vacuum pump has you know a little flaw here and there so long story short almost $5,000 later. The transmission got a whole bunch of upgrades and it got a whole bunch of other stuff gone through on the truck that he said was either going to be going out fairly soon or you might as well do it while you're in here type of work. He said now he would trust to drive it anywhere and I did drive it actually all the way back because of course Nasty Red is gone. So I drove it from Red Key, an hour and 20 minutes all the way back to my place and the truck drove phenomenal. The shifting points were firm, it was smooth, it was just a dream to drive. It was like it was supposed to be from the beginning and it drove phenomenal. So I'm very happy with where it is now. And you know, this is why I didn't say much about the truck and I didn't tell people what was wrong with the truck at the time because I was like, I wanna have the truck back before I start to go into details with people because otherwise people might get the wrong idea. Like, oh my gosh, you were trying to give this truck away and it wasn't actually done the way you said it was. Well, that's because the information I got was bad information. So when I found out that it was bad information, I made sure that the truck got the upgrades it was supposed to already have so that I wasn't considered a liar when the guy picks up the truck and the truck, you know, for some reason didn't actually have the transmission upgrades it was supposed to have in it. And then he stuck with a truck that's got too much power for the transmission that's in it. And then he has issues with it. So of course I took it upon myself to make sure that everything that needed to be done to this to make it perform the way it's supposed to was done and I had it all paid for it's all good to go now he's going to be picking up the truck tomorrow morning just wanted to explain to you guys where it's been why you guys never saw a giveaway winner video because there were a lot of people that were like how come we never saw a giveaway winner how come the winners never picked up the truck you know like all this other stuff well that's why it's been gone since the end of November pretty much because the transmission was not in fact beefed up at all according to what I was told it was just a completely stock rebuild and the truck just didn't like it, just did not like it with the power that it was making and the amount of torque that it puts out. So, transmission's good to go now. Truck runs and drives like a dream. And we got the thing all cleaned up here for Matthew from Pennsylvania to take this thing home. Of course, you guys remember, if you watched the videos on this, we did a new headliner in the truck, new seats, all custom upholstery. We hooked up the radio that wasn't hooked up put in some cup holders that actually work. We put a new dash top on there because the other one had a couple hairline cracks. We put a new trim piece up over on that side. We didn't put the handle back on though because the hardware inside the actual pillar was missing. So I actually took some like clips that are removable just in case he ever wants to try to put one back in there. And I actually, um, if you see it there, if it'll focus. Okay. Get it to focus, this is such a pain in the butt. I can't get this stupid thing to focus because there's too much bright light. It's these black removable clips. Okay, they're, well, whatever. I'm trying to make it work. This camera does not want to freaking focus because of the sun up over here. I can't face the camera at it and get it to focus on anything else. But we got everything cleaned up in here and uh, got that put on and everything else. So it's, it's all good to go now. I'm very happy with how it turned out in the end, but man. You talk about a very expensive piece of information to have wrong when you buy a truck. That is a big one. When a transmission is needing of assistance, especially when you want it to be done right, it's not cheap. And you know, this truck needed more than that. That's why it was almost five grand. It wasn't just a transmission needing some parts that were told that it had that it didn't actually have. The truck also needed a few other parts as well that he was like, you know, while I'm in here, 
this is stuff I would suggest. And of course he's been working on this truck since longer than I've been in existence, so I take his word. Well, the truck runs and drives way better. I had no idea it was performing so much less than it should have been until he fixed all that stuff and I was like, this is freaking awesome now. Like it's way better than it was and I thought it drove good to begin with. But yeah, so that's where we are with that. So tomorrow, you will be seeing that truck getting picked up. After the whole delay, Matthew, huge apology. I've already told you that from the beginning after it was a one or two week wait, I was already apologizing because you shouldn't have to wait that long for something. Now, sometimes a winner does have to wait two or three weeks depending on lining up our schedule with their work schedule and stuff like that to travel out here depending on how far away it is and how much they have to plan for it. But you should never have to wait, you know, eight weeks, give or take, six to eight weeks for your truck. I did pay him the cash right away though through PayPal just because I was like, he needs something because this, this wait is just, it's just too long. So I sent him that right away. But the truck man, again, huge apologies. That is very unusual and is not normal just for everybody watching. That is a very rare exception that's ever happened here. Now to everybody else, this truck, however, um, I have had up to highway speeds very many times already and it runs and drives and shifts through all gears even into overdrive perfectly and it feels amazing. So anyways, if you wanna get entered to win this Satin Ocean Shimmer Blue 24 valve Cummins plus $5,000 cash, right now 10 times bonus entries just went live. So if you wanna grab bonus entries, 10X bonus entries are live right now. So every $1 is gonna get you 10 entries instead of the normal one. So if you wanna grab those, don't waste any time because those 10X bonus entries do end on February 1st and then they will be gone and 10X entries will not be back. It's gonna go back to 1X. So grab those entries while you can't enter to win this 24 four valve plus five thousand dollars cash and another thing my late grandfather's ram 1500 that i picked him up back when i first started i actually did my first giveaway after my first giveaway i said i've always wanted to get my grandfather you know a nicer truck and i know at this current state it's not the nicest thing, the bumpers like zip tied together, like the plastics are zip tied on and it's starting to rust and stuff now, I mean, but it wasn't like this when I bought it for him. When I bought it for him, you know, four years ago, it was actually pretty stinking clean. And it, I mean, you can go back and watch the videos if you don't believe me. It was a, it was a really nice, good looking clean truck. It needs some work now, but the alternator took a dump on me and I was starting to have issues with the radio and the, the blower motor for the heat and AC not working and my gauges on my dash like weren't working. Like the fuel gauge would go to E and then come back up to full and E and come, and I'm like, what in the world is going on? And uh, I came out the next day and the truck was toast. I mean, it was dead, nothing, just a click click like nothing I'm like I know it's not the battery it's got to be the alternator because if it's not holding a charge it's probably the alternator or a grounding problem well in this case it happened to be the alternator I replaced it and everything magically started working again so I was like awesome at least we got that problem solved uh, but I do want to start to tear into this thing a little bit more because it does have some squeaks some squeals it does have some ticking sounds and it's got some rattly sounds and some vibrations coming and going from random spots under the truck I mean it needs a little bit of assistance because we've been driving it every day and it's one of those things where I'm like crap like if I park this in the barn and start tearing into it and it's not drivable for a few days. That means that the wife's gonna have to drive either the nice blue 24 valve or her truck and we're trying not to drive those in the salt. And this truck currently is gonna need the paint and body work done here soon anyhow. So I thought, what the heck, what's a little more salt gonna do? It's all gonna get cut off soon anyways in terms of the rust. So might as well just keep driving this while the weather's crappy. I'm sure there's plenty of guys out there that drive these things with ticking sounds or squeals or random vibrations that come and go and stuff like that. But, you know, at the end of the day, the main goal is to get everything fixed on this to where it runs and drives like it did back in 2001 when it was sitting on the lot new. But of course, it's gonna take a lot of work. Um, but I'm not afraid to do it. I'm not afraid to get it all done and pay for it. But, but yeah, it's, it's definitely gonna be a handful and uh, anyways guys, thanks so much for all the love and support. Don't forget to grab those 10X entries to win that truck behind me there. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.